What's going on, family? Cribs here. Thanks for coming to hang out. Uh, just got back from camping for the weekend, headed up Friday. Uh, spent a glorious night there and then a day, and then we headed home this morning. Um, it was a good weekend, except uh, my lovely bride got sick, so she kind of was hung up in the, the trailer all weekend. But it gave me a chance to love on my wife and take care of her, so kudos. Kudos to that. Um, this is going to be a quick video. Oh, I also got my first thumbs down on one of my uh, YouTube videos. How about that? And of course, nobody left me a comment on how I can better myself, but that's okay. At least I got my first thumbs down. I'm ecstatic about that. Uh, don't know why that's so big, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so it, it, this video is going to be quick. It's just something that I go through being a bearded man that uses bars of soap. Um, oh, Raiders won today. Sorry, Hav. Um, I love you, brother. He's a Bears fan. So, I use bars of soap for my beard and my, my face and my hair. All one, one stop shop. So, the first one I started out with was Boss Man Brands. Their soap, absolutely amazing. Let me show you this. Love that soap. The soap is awesome. The only problem I was having is I was going through three of these soaps a month. Um, next one I tried was Honest Amish. I got a three pack of theirs. Great soap. So I'm hunting around for different soaps. Then my brother uh, Tex from Barn Brand Beards sends me some of his pine tar, which is the first pine tar soap I've ever used. And these really don't fall in line of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to set them over there. Um, then I found online, because I ran out of the Honest Amish, Texas Beardsman. Uh, he had a sale going on, uh, $3 for a soap, a uh, bar of soap, which are 4.2 4 ounces. So I got nine of these, so I've got plenty. I'm still on my first bar. And it's been probably, I'd say two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, and then a nice lady that here is locally in Legrand. Uh, the company is growing wise. If you want any information, it's all down here, the phone number. And this is handmade here in Legrand, Oregon by a nice lady. Um, came into the store, into Ford, while I was working, and we started talking. Look at these soaps. And man, a lot of good stuff in that. So, what I've been having problems with is my soaps after about a week, maybe two weeks, you, you can just tell immediately, the water from the shower after you use it, they never dry out, so they really get soggy. They really absorb that water and it really starts to break them down. You guys that use bars of soap, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially the guys in my brotherhood on Boss Man Brotherhood. Uh, the, the soaps, the Boss Man soaps from Steven, uh, they just really are a victim of that same thing. Uh, so that's why I bounced around from soap to soap. After a while, I'm thinking, doing a little research on, on what I can do to save my soaps or if anybody else, else are having problems, I get on there and I buy Steven's soap dish which has the removable, it's supposed to have the water that drains out and the water all takes down and you, <gasps> excuse me, but that didn't help. Still had the same problem. In fact, it made it kind of worse. Um, even tried his traveling soap dish. Uh, good soap dishes, but not for these kind of soaps. They have a lot of the, the shea butters and a lot of these oatmeals and ingredients that, that are just really susceptible. They're made to get in and break down and condition your body and your skin and your, your beard. So then I went on Amazon and got me some of these wood dishes. Uh, you, you think these are gonna be great. A lot of people have talked about it. Uh, found out that it really didn't help at all. Uh, what I found out was the soaps actually, after a while, they start to sag and they start to form to this and they stick. 
and trying to get out those uh, gooey, melty uh, bars of goodness off of these trays, it just it just is not a win. So I was getting frustrated. So with the wonderful lady that came into my store that's local here, we started talking about products and what she does and and, and the soaps and I, and, and I let her know what the problems are I, I'm having and I was about to swap from the bars of soap even though I love them uh, that they the problem that I was having and she gave me some advice on what I should do. She said get a metal hanger that is up off of the off of the base of the the shower and hang it up higher and that'll help. So I come home and I was telling my wife about this and lo and behold, she had one. She used to hang up her on above the sink uh, to dry out our scrubbers for the dishes because we don't have a dishwasher in our home. Um, so she gave this to me and for two weeks now, I've hung it up about head level in the shower and that's where I've been putting my bar of soap. And lo and behold, everything is fixed. My bar of soap dries out like it should. It doesn't absorb water. Uh, it, it's wonderful. So and the reason that I said these, Texas uh, pine tar, I don't think pine tar, anything's gonna absorb into these. Um, the ones that I've used, two of them already, have basically stood the test of time no matter where I put them. So, but these other bars of soaps that you guys may be having a little problem with, uh, melting and disintegrating too fast and you're getting frustrated, go on Amazon or go to Walmart or go to one of your stores and pick up one of these, probably five bucks maybe, and see if it helps you out. Anyways, guys, that's what I got. As always, I love you. I'm proud of you. Go tell somebody you love them and that you're proud of them. And that's what I got for you today. Oh, one more thing. This week, I'm going to start my testing in the use of Nicholas Beardworks. I got quite a, a few of his swag. I've had one already, but his oils, bombs, and butters. I got one of his butters. Um, very expensive, but buddy, it, I wouldn't say very, but it's it's up there. As Dan would say, it's in the $3 rating uh, for an oil, but it's fantastic. But this is a two ounce. His skulls are a two ounce. But he also has the one ounces as well. So your option. But I've loved it. But I'm really going to put it to the test this week. And I'll be coming out with a review on that. Uh, anyways, got home. I just want to tell you this real quick. Got home. Took a shower. Used, used my Fugitive, my Texas Beardsman soap. Which it is a stripping soap by 100%. Uh, got everything out of camping. Um, then followed it up with my Detroit uh, Biotin Conditioner. Fantastic. Uh, third time I've used it and it's wonderful uh, and then ran this uh, Cuban tobacco in it and then followed it up with the balm and man look at that it's got a good sheen it's soft it's staying in place and I just I just love it so anyways guys I'm out I'm gonna go eat some dinner and have a good weekend enjoy your football